friends. Thank you for watching the video from Bald Eagle Soaring High again. My issues are mainly about immigration policies, just like why and how to immigrate. Where should you migrate to? Those who are interested in the developed world outside and looking for immigration methods sincerely, please search and follow me, so that you can find useful immigration information about dozens of countries on my channel, and I'll continuously update the latest and useful immigration information timely. Your messages, forwarding, and following will be my greatest motivation to continue creating. Thank you all. Today's topic is the immigration policies and methods of Malta. Full name, the Republic of Malta. Malta is a former British colony and currently a member of the European Union, the Schengen area and the Commonwealth. Since 2008 its legal tender currency is the Euro, EUR. As of July 2024, the total population is more than 0.447 million. With a per capita GDP of over 36.99 thousand US dollars. And Maltese and English are generally the official languages. Up to now, within the total 198 countries, excluding regions, on Earth. The Malta passport ranks 8th in the world. In terms of visa-free quantity in 172 countries. Including 121 visa-free countries. 43 landing visas and 8 electronic travel documents. My personal main impression of Malta is a densely populated archipelago which is located in the center of the Mediterranean. Located along the coast of the Strait of Malacca. Having a passport with many visa-free countries. Tax haven. Easily obtainable dual citizenship. Entry points into the EU, Schengen Zone, and Commonwealth. Have you ever been to Malta? What is your impression of Malta? Can you share it with everyone in the comments section? Thank you for your kindness. 1. The main methods of Malta immigration. 1. Global Residency Scheme. Launched in 2013 under the Immigration Act, the Malta Global Residence Program allows non-EU, EEA, Switzerland nationals and their dependents, spouse, children under 26 and parents, to settle in Malta and be subject to an advantageous tax regime. The permit must be renewed every year, provided that requirements are still met. To be eligible for the program, you must not hold a residency permit in Malta under another programmer. You must have enough income to support yourself and your dependents, though you may apply for a work permit if you wish to work in Malta. You will be required to purchase a residential property with a value of at least €275,000 if located in Malta, or €220,000 if located in Gozo or in the south of Malta. The property cannot be leased to a third party if you hold the residence permit under this scheme. Alternatively, instead of purchasing a property, you may rent a property in Malta, with a minimum annual rent of €9,600 if in Malta, or €8,750 if in Gozo or in the south of Malta. Under this program, you may benefit from an advantageous tax regime, where income is taxed on a remittance basis at a flat rate of 15%. To qualify for this tax incentive, you must not be tax resident abroad, e.g. stay more than 182 days in another country, and pay a minimum tax amount of €15,000. Requirements A. At least 18 years of age. B. Not to be national of EU, EEA or Switzerland. C. Spend less than 183 days a year in another country, to qualify as tax resident in Malta. D. English or Maltese language skills. E. Possess comprehensive health insurance. F. Clean criminal record. G. Not to be a potential threat to Malta's national security, public policy or public health. H. Not deemed to be against the public interest. Documents required. A. Evidence of health insurance. B. Original police clearance certificate. C. Original bank reference letter, not older than six months. D. Medical certificate. E. Undertaking to purchase property. F. Undertaking to rent property. G. Affidavit of support for dependents. H. Certified copy of passport. I. Original or certified copy of birth certificate, if applicable. J. Original or certified copy of marriage certificate, if applicable. K. Six passport size photos. L. Statement of source of funds. M. 
proof of income. 2. Retirement Programmer. Introduced in 2013 under the Immigration Act, the Malta Retirement Programme allows EU, EEA, Switzerland nationals and their dependents, spouse, children under 26 and parents, who intend to retire in Malta to obtain a residence permit. The permit has five-year validity, renewable provided that requirements are still met. You must not be an employee, although you may carry non-executive posts on the boards of companies, foundations or other organizations. You must have a pension, which must be received in full in Malta and represent at least 75% of your income chargeable in Malta. This means that any income other than your pension cannot be more than 25% of the total income remitted to Malta. The pension may be a government pension, periodic payments in respect of past employment, remunerations paid as lifetime or temporary annuities, or regular income from an occupational retirement scheme, personal overseas retirement plan or insurance policies. Lump sum pensions do not qualify. You will be required to purchase a residential property with a value of at least €275,000 if located in Malta or €220,000 if located in Gozo or in the south of Malta. The property cannot be leased to a third party if you hold the residence permit under this scheme. Alternatively, instead of purchasing a property, you may rent a property in Malta with a minimum annual rent of €9,600 if in Malta or €8,750 if in Gozo or in the south of Malta. You must reside at least 90 days per year in Malta on average over a five-year period. You must be a tax resident in Malta and therefore you must not reside in another country more than 183 days per year. Your period of stay under this program does not qualify for a long stay or permanent residence visa. Under this program, your income accrued outside Malta, remitted to the country, will be taxed at a flat rate of 15%, provided that the minimum tax payable is €15,000. You may also benefit from the tax treaties concluded by Malta to claim a tax relief for tax paid abroad. Requirements A. At least 18 years of age b. Be a national of EU, EEA, Switzerland. c. Registration certificate confirming your entitlement to reside in Malta. d. Possess comprehensive health insurance. e. Clean criminal record. f. Not to be a potential threat to Malta's national security, public policy or public health. g. Not deemed to be against the public interest. Documents required. a. Evidence of health insurance. B. Original police clearance certificate. C. Original bank reference letter, not older than six months. D. Medical certificate. E. Undertaking to purchase property. F. Undertaking to rent property. G. Affidavit of support for dependents. H. Certified copy of passport. I. Original or certified copy of birth certificate, if applicable. J. Original or certified copy of marriage certificate, if applicable. K. Six passport size photos. L. Statement of source of funds. M. Proof of pension. 3. Residence and visa programmer. Introduced by the Malta Legal Notice 288 of 2015 under the Immigration Act, the Malta Residence and Visa Programme allows non-EU, EEA, Switzerland nationals and their dependents, spouse, children under 26 and parents, to settle in Malta indefinitely, provided that the requirements are still met. To be eligible for the programme you must not hold a residency permit in Malta under another programme, except the Global Residence Programme. You must have an annual income of at least €100,000 accrued outside Malta or have capital of at least €500,000. You will be required to purchase a residential property with a value of at least €320,000 if located in Malta or €270,000 if located in Gozo or in the south of Malta. Property must be held for at least five years and cannot be leased to a third party. Alternatively, instead of property purchase, you may rent a property in Malta, with a minimum annual rent of €12,000 if in Malta, or €10,000 if in Gozo or in south of Malta. In addition, you must make an investment of €250,000 in non-interest Maltese government bonds, returnable after five years, and a one-time financial contribution of €30,000 to the government of Malta, 
The non-refundable 5,500 euro application fee constitutes part payment of this financial contribution. See fees below. Requirements. A. At least 18 years of age. B. Not to be national of EU, EEA or Switzerland. C. In each five-year period, you must spend six consecutive months outside Malta or an aggregate period of 10 months over the whole period. D. Possess comprehensive health insurance. E. Clean criminal record. F. Not to be a potential threat to Malta's national security, public policy or public health. G. Not deemed to be against the public interest. Documents required. A. Evidence of health insurance. B. Original police clearance certificate. C. Original bank reference letter, not older than six months. D. Medical certificate. E. Undertaking to purchase property. F. Undertaking to rent property. G. Undertaking to remit total contribution. H. Affidavit of support for dependents. I. Certified copy of passport. J. Original or certified copy of birth certificate, if applicable. K. Original or certified copy of marriage certificate, if applicable. L. Six passport size photos. M. Statement of source of funds. 2. Applicants' nationality requirements. 1. Restricted nationalities. Afghanistan, Iran, North Korea, European Economic Area. 2. Dual citizenship. Dual citizenship is recognized in Malta. You are not required to renounce your previous nationality to become a citizen of Malta. 3. Taxes, for reference only, cannot be construed as tax advice. Malta levies personal income taxes on a residence and domicile basis. An individual is deemed to be a tax resident if he or she spends more than half year in the country, and is deemed to be domiciled in Malta if their permanent home is in Malta. Becoming a multi-citizen does not automatically make you a tax resident or deemed to be domiciled in Malta. Maltese ordinarily resident and domiciled in Malta are subject to personal income tax on their worldwide income and capital gains. Maltese ordinarily resident and not domiciled in Malta are taxed on their income and capital gains arising in Malta and on income arising outside Malta that is remitted to Malta. This means that if you are a Maltese resident non-domiciled, permanent home, in Malta, only your Maltese source income and capital gains and your income remitted to Malta may be subject to tax. Foreign source income not remitted and capital gains, remitted or not, may be tax exempt. Non-residents are only taxed on their income and capital gains from Malta. Personal income tax rates are progressive from 0% to 30%. Capital gains are taxable income. However, gains from the disposal of immovable property are taxed at lower rates of 8%, 10% or 12% depending on the circumstances. Property purchased under the Citizenship by Investment Program can be sold tax-exempt after the mandatory five-year period, provided that the property is held for a period of three years as the owner's ordinary residence. In Malta, there are no inheritance, real property, net wealth and municipal taxes. There is a stamp duty applied on certain transfers such as real property or securities. Value-added tax is 18%. Malta is the jurisdiction chosen by many international companies and holding companies to establish their headquarters and do business in the European Union. As of December 2018, Malta enacted the EU ATED rules, which include a rule on controlled foreign companies, CFCs, for the first time. Although its standard corporate tax rate is 35%, in practice there is a system of tax credits and refunds for shareholders reducing to effective tax rates of between 0 and 10%. Finally, there is no best immigration program, only the most suitable immigration program. There are also some other contents and projects that cannot be elaborated on here due to review policies, word count, and time constraints. Interested friends can contact me, negias.ing at gmail.com, to obtain them. Also, what I'd love you to do is if you find any incorrect or outdated information, could you please scroll down right now and leave the correct suggestions? We'll appreciate you for sharing the useful knowledge. Thank you all for watching the video.